This video explains how to clean up memory using the GC function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create some data objects, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio in the global environment that some data objects are appearing. And now let's assume that we want to clear those data objects from our workspace. Then we might use the rm function and the ls function, as you can see in line six of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right that our environment is empty. However, you have to know that after running this line of code, the memory might still be occupied. So if you are dealing with large data files, it makes sense to also cause a garbage collection, as you can see in line eight of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the GC function. And within this function, I'm specifying the reset argument to be equal to true. So if you run line eight of the code, a garbage collection is performed and the GC function also returns some metrics on your memory usage below in the RStudio console. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.